Okay, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we are going to continue with the theme of forensics. Um, and the title of this video, as you can see in the subject, is uh, Private Browsing. Is it safe? Um, short answer is no. Um, whether you use private browsing in Chrome or Firefox or, or Edge or um, Internet Explorer, a lot of this data, even though it's cleared out when you close the browser, this data has to go somewhere. So um, obviously for it to be displayed on your screen, it has to be in a memory um, and also it has to be uh, saved in a page file. So we're going to focus on Windows, but this doesn't, uh, this is not, it's not exclusive to Windows only. It's also um, on Mac and Linux. So uh, obviously uh, I have some few cases that I found um, that I worked on previously. So I'm going to open them in Mac and Axiom. I won't be able to show much of the results. Uh, but I will show uh, the left panel of Magnet Axiom, which categorizes the uh, results. So at least uh, you can have a better understanding of what's actually being stored. So um, here we go. Here's the first case. So a lot of this information here on the left, as you can see, has been categorized. So uh, there's a lot of uh, actual evidence that we found. Um, it won't actually tell me here whether this was done through private browsing or not. Uh, it, it Sometimes it does, but not, not always. Uh, I'm gonna get to, I think, the third or fourth case that actually uh, shows in private browsing uh, URLs, but uh, most of this data was pulled out from the databases, from the browsers, plus uh, page file, because the, the, the page file does contain a lot of, of the uh, browsing that you've done. So, uh, as we can see, what can we find with Axiom? So here's a, uh, uh, Cloud services URLs, Facebook uh, analytics, map queries, uh, Google search uh, queries, um, um, malware websites, uh, pornography. Well, this person only uh, looked up one website. Um, uh, what else? We built pages. So, this is pages that we found from cache and we rebuilt. And then we can view them here. Uh, any shopping sites, uh, social media, stuff like that. So, if you have a policy at your company, where you are, you know, not supposed to look at uh, porn stuff. Obviously, I don't know what company is gonna let you look at porn, except unless you work for Pornhub or whatever. Uh, but uh, for example, shopping sites and um, stuff like that. So obviously, um, you know, if that's the policy in place at a company, and you you are obviously um, doing all these things, they will find out. If, if they bring the hard drive here, we'll find it, uh, and. In a magnet axiom, you can then drill deep into specific browsers. So uh, we can look at Chrome Autofill, Cache Records, Cookies, um, you name it. Everything is here and it's broken down per browser. Um, here's uh, more from Edge, from IE 10 and 11. Here's some Firefox data. So it's it's uh, there's quite a bit of data here. So here's some here's some in in uh, IE in private browsing recovered URLs. Um, these are all the URLs that we found uh, that were done through private browsing. Uh, so this person here obviously was using private browsing to uh, at least hide their tracks. So private browsing obviously is not safe. Um, I'm not going to go through each one of these categories because it's just, it's just way too much for, for me to uh, explain in this video. This is only the second video into forensics. Um, if you haven't seen the first one, I'll link it above. Um, this that first video talks about uh, how to take a forensic image. So, uh, if you start watching that video, how we got to this point is once we have the image, uh, we run Axiom and we put the image through Axiom. Depending on the size of the drive and the amount of data, it might take anywhere from one hour to 24 hours. Um, and this is on this computer here. Then this computer is a Threadripper with 120 gigs of RAM. It's a 16 core uh, with 32 thread system on dual SSDs and an NVMe boot drive so this computer is built for mostly for Axiom for speed because we don't want to be wasting time and waiting for um, um, you know two three four days for a case to finish but anyways uh, back to the case so um, uh, what's also important here uh, is a lot of operating system artifacts uh, jump lists are very important if you if we're investigating any file systems uh, any files being copied into to USB drives we can look at um, any USB drives being plugged into the system, so a lot of this information is stored uh, in the computer. So this is one of the cases. Let's have a look at another one. 
Here's another one. Uh, we got some dating sites. Uh, obviously, if you're at work, you should not be looking at dating sites. And, you know, sometimes we do have, get uh, false positives. Uh, with false positives, it's... Um, um, you can tell by just looking at uh, URLs. But if you have, like, you know, 40, 50, 100, 200 artifacts from a single category, obviously, this person have been uh, browsing uh, these sites. We have some pornography, 129. Those would not be false positives. And just by looking at the URLs, which I have to unfortunately hide... I can see uh, they there have been some uh, um, some serious browsing uh, of porn here. Uh, we can also look at social media here, uh, torrent sites and web chat URLs. This person has been on uh, various um, chatting apps such as Hangouts, uh, Zoom. What else we got here? Um, more Hangouts. I'm pretty sure, uh, I, I'm not sure if Teams uh, falls into this. I don't see Teams in here. Uh, it's mostly Hangouts and some other ones. Uh, WhatsApp as well. So if you're using WhatsApp uh, for web, um, this will be saved in here. And I can see that um, WhatsApp is being used. Uh, and then, what, just like with the previous case, we can drill down to specific uh, browsers so we have autofill again bookmarks cache records so all these things uh, on their own are nothing but if you uh, start looking at specifics and start uh, putting it together you know um, connecting uh, different sessions with uh, cache records and then you can kind of paint a picture of what the person's been doing um, here's some more IE and uh, this person uh, is he's got some sessions here from Firefox but that's all we got here um, some Google Maps queries and stuff like that and once again operating system artifacts quite a bit in here we can also look at emails um, emails um, this could be even webmail so if you're using Gmail or, or um, office based uh, email setup such as uh, uh, Outlook or whatever it will be listed there so let's look at the next case here. This is the third case here uh, you can see that this person does not go to any porn sites, no, um, no shopping sites, um, nothing like that. So this person is pretty good. Uh, but just because the uh, refined results did not pick up specific artifacts, we can still look at uh, cache records and we can still look at uh, sessions and stuff like that. We might find some uh, porn sites or, or other websites that have not been categorized yet. Um, that's the whole point of the this second ta this second section here that we can look at individual records uh, and then let's look at um, last case here in this case also no um, no porn but again lots of lots and lots and lots of uh, web browsing and and also um, OS artifacts. So these four cases, uh, these are all Windows um, cases. I have some Mac ones. I had a case where um, there was some um, a drive was erased uh, on, a, on a MacBook, and the trim didn't get enough time to erase the hard drive. And and the person that had this uh, Mac, uh, we could see that this person was sending files back and forth um, uh, through AirDrop to their cell phone, and uh, Using Magnet Axiom, I was able to find out that just before the drive was erased, uh, there was the airdrop activity, and then right after the drive has been erased, by looking um, looking at uh, some file system information, which is the uh, FS events, which shows last time the drive was active, and it showed that uh, airdrop happened just before the SF FS events. Um, uh, was able to write the drive so this person couldn't say that oh, the computer was never working the computer was working because we could see uh, by looking at FS events and then we did find uh, airdrop artifacts uh, just an hour before the drive magically was erased um, so yeah so anyways this is a second part of the forensic uh, forensics uh, there will be a third part coming up in the future but uh, in the meantime I'm still working on the Gardonics and USB stabilizer video I finally got my uh, controller card which I was waiting for uh, just before Christmas because um, we need a specific uh, USB controller for Gardonic so that will be coming out hopefully in two weeks I just have to put it together the video is almost done 
um, and then um, Anyways, more about that in the next video. There's no point talking about it now because I just talked about the last video. So if I talk about it too much in this, this video, then there'll be nothing to talk about the next video. So, uh, so yeah. On that note, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, share, all that YouTube BS. I uh, hate saying that, but I don't know why I'm saying it. But uh, uh, stay tuned. More videos coming up in the future.